Hi, I'm Alexander Slocum, the Papalardo Professor of Mechanical Engineering, and I do gizmos. If it's a machine, if it's this big, it's this big! It doesn't matter because it's all this big, we just change the exponent on the analysis. So gizmos, what's a gizmo? Gizmo is anything that has a physical, mechanical embodiment. It may be a small silicon machine that you couldn't really even see unless you looked at it under a microscope. It could be giant offshore structures. My interest is in any problem that people say, oh, that's a hard one, I, I can't be done. Ooh, opportunity. And physics is real and it doesn't give a damn, which is nice. So the, really the only thing that changes is the manufacturing method for the different types of machines, instruments, which I classify them all as gizmos. I've done uh, silicon micro relays, energy harvesters on the smaller end of things, a lot of surgical instruments, lots of machine tools and manufacturing equipment to make processes more accurate, lower cost, and then some very large scale things. Um, still those are in, in concept, offshore structures for next generation floating wind turbines, harvesting uranium, uh, waste disposal, and energy storage, large scale like gigawatt hour scale energy storage. So I'm one of these kids who grew up and had a problem with drugs. I couldn't afford them because I was spending all my money on my hot rod. And when you've got a hot rod, you've got to make the parts more and more precise to get more horsepower so you can go faster than the other guy. So precision has always just in, been in the blood. Uh, good at math, physics, you know, classic geek nerd type thing. Because if you can do the analysis of a machine and identify the sensitive parts, then you know where to tweak and wiggle to get that last bit of goodness out of them. You know, what is the, the biggest return on investment? That's really what precision engineering is about. It's about a deterministic way of thinking, leaving nothing for granted, looking at all the terms and then ranking them from that which has the biggest effect to that has the least effect, and then focusing your energy on the biggest effect thing. Some people would refer to it as getting the fat rabbit or the low-hanging fruit. That's kind of normal engineering. Precision engineering is about going for the low-hanging rabbit to get the rabbit in the fruit. <laughs>